Greetings and salutations from Evelina Malley, the Lady of the Realm. And I wish to say, okay, I am God, I am tired. I am so tired. I, I think it was a truck. No, I, I swear, if I got up and walked right now, a snail could beat me. Hey, just beat me to my, my room. Uh, uh, my roommate hey, could take a bus from our dorm, from, from our dorm. All the way downtown to where the Walmart is. All the way back. And I would not even gone across. I would not even gone there. Seriously, that's how tired I am. Um let's see. I was going to talk about something really, really important, but that's besides the point. <sighs> so, it, it was mostly between cleaning up after my, my cat, and it turns out his litter box really needed to be mopped under. Hey, folks, if I don't hold him accountable for his bad behavior, he'll never learn. Anyways. Anyway, <sighs> I, was, I was in the most part of something that was the most amazing thing in the world. I was in part of a documentary that was being held by some people in my town. And, yes, I used my first probably middle and last name, but I will not say it here, because, well, mostly just, I'm shy. Okay, I'm an incredibly shy person, and the powers that may be do not really want me to disclose a lot of information to you. Um, what else? Nice popping sound there, huh? Let's see. Basically, the documentary was just talking about how the elderly in this country have basically been bah, have been just battering down on our generation. I mean, why do we do that to ourselves here on YouTube and everywhere else around the world? But... I think at that time, it was, yeah, it was right before I was going to go into my book club. I had been sitting in the library just reading and enjoying myself. I had been thinking, yeah, you know, our generation, a lot of problems of what has been going on with our generation, in my opinion, is we have had no iconoclasts. Now, whether that is due to the fact that we're focusing more on the older generation, and, you know, we're not giving you an iconoclast, you don't need an iconoclast. But, at the same time, every generation needs an iconoclast. I mean, Fine, you can say Lady Gaga's an iconoclast because she's changing the way things are looked at and seen. But, you know, we should, hey, look, world, I wear weird clothes. Um, and how, well, homosexuality is seen on, in our country, even though I had to say I've listened to some of her songs. and That's for another video 
debate. I'm not going into it. <sighs> and let's see, it's also I think they basically just wanted my opinion on how we're trying to also outlaw the the most incredible stupid thing to outlaw known to man. Basically, I think it's not allowing people to wear pajama bottoms. And, uh, yes, was I in there? Yes, that's right, I was thinking of things like that before, but, sorry. Mine, this train of thought is just going to keep going until it derails. It's at a uh, confusion station every time. And it usually comes around the time I should be in bed. But, anyways. The main reason why I wanted to be part of this um, uh, documentary was I too am very angry at this because there are also other things that are getting ignored. Not just, oh, my rights and to do as I please as an American citizen also, as a grown adult, by the way, I don't care if you like what I'm wearing or not, still a grown adult, last time I checked, bi biologically. I mean, I know I don't look it, but I'm at least in my 20s. It's, it's, but still, it's not okay, folks. It just, it's not. But, I mentioned about how we have other pressing issues to focus on. Like, the many of the ones I mentioned here on YouTube, though for the most part, like Japan's nuclear program. What is wrong with these people? Well, they need, and mentioning just all those things, you know, hey, you know what? It probably isn't the wisest thing for me to go to Japan. I mean, I just go to Japan. Still right now the way it is, you know, but um, going to the movie theater in my pajama bottoms and top might seem a little slubby to you, but hey, we got a huge problem in Japan, and you get on my little, little narrow behind for just that. That's it. That's the only thing you got. Um, but, I don't say those exact words, but, I said, and yes, I'm a, I was both enthralled doing this, because, as you know, I have a lot of rage, and I live here, just getting it out and talking with you people, it is very therapeutic, as many people say, you know, it's just, the problem is, TJ, the amazing atheist, is right. We don't have an iconoclast, so we have no real way of getting that out. That. And I plan on doing a video about this as well, because, ironically, I just watched something involving that. Of how some people were talking about friends and stuff, but... I won't bring it into this video, but if you want to go see it, or it'll, I don't know if it's going to be one that's going to be released to the public or anything, it might have just been a student thing, but if you live in around um, Oklahoma, I think it's called Get Off My Lawn, but, you know, something that will be with it. Get Off My Lawn! No, 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 it sounds nastier than that. But anyways, besides that point, <laughs> thank you, and please, if you plan to hear more of my empowered, angered ranting, please click the subscription box down below, oh, and uh, there's some links down in my, and I know I took this from someone else, because not gay, 
but still, down the rainbow panties, click the links below. There should be some uh, links for you to follow me hey, on Tumblr, Twitter, and all those other places. And hey, don't be afraid hey, to ask me questions. I can't really answer a lot about the film. I've been trying to find those guys after and we did this whole thing, but I wanted to get wanted to just tell you that's what happened in today. So anyways, thanks for listening. Evie out.